Hey guys, and welcome back to our Back to Basic series here on Farming Simulator 19. Today we're going to take a look at potatoes. Potatoes are kind of a unique crop to both plant and harvest. They have a rather unique and exclusive set of machinery that you need in order to basically work with potatoes. So what I've got here in front of us is basically a collection of the potato technology if you will, that is in the base game. We've got a self-propelled potato harvester here. This thing is expensive. In fact, most of anything dealing with potatoes is expensive. Here we have a small four-row potato planter. Got a little bigger potato planter here. I believe this one is maybe six rows. Got a potato so when it comes time to harvest your potatoes, the self-propelled potato harvester has a topper already attached to it. Use this pull-behind potato harvester. You're going to need to top the potatoes first. Basically take the dead plant material off the top. This is what that will do. Have a self or not a self-propelled, but a pull-behind potato harvester here, potato digger, if you will. We have a second version of a potato digger here in this Ropa model. Now, this one will basically top the potatoes at the same time. So you do not need a topper for this. And over here, we just have a larger tractor because, well, lots of this potato stuff needs horsepower. We get ourselves a larger tractor. And we've got a much larger trailer to go with harvesting potatoes because of the fact that, well, potatoes are obviously a lot bigger than cereal-type crops. So we're going to need a bigger trailer to deal with the, uh, the harvest. So let's take a look and start talking about how we plant the potatoes in the ground. Take a look at the shop. We go to tools. Under potato technology, we're going to find the PL420 potato planter, $21,000. Requires a minimum of 150 horsepower, which is the upper end of the tractors that we have. We start out here on Bellsburn. So it plants at 7 miles per hour and has a 2740 liter capacity for potatoes. Now, what's interesting about potatoes is that you can put seed in the potato planter or if you have potatoes from a past harvest you can use potatoes to basically put and stock your planter this is one of the few crops that you can actually use previous year's harvest as seed stock if you will for the coming planting a three meter working width. We have the GL860 requires just 170 horsepower, but not a lot more horsepower. Has 9,020 liter capacity, adds fertilizing to the planting, again, seed or potatoes, stock that, and is double the width at six meters. We have our potato topper that needs to be paired with the SE. To 60. Interesting enough, they don't have <clears throat> they don't have little puzzle pieces saying that they match up together. This particular potato harvester has a storage capacity of just 9,276. This thing is going to fill up fast. All right, it's just 110 horsepower, but needs to be matched with this potato topper which itself requires 65 horsepower. That is basically a combination of 175 needed. We're going to run both of these at once. We should run the entire field with the topper and then come through and run the field with the harvester if you wanted. Then we have the Ropa K1000 
Healer 2, 150 horsepower, 10,000 liters, 1.8 meters. That's right. This thing has a very, very narrow working width. It's going to take quite a long time to harvest a field with this. Same with the Brimey SE 260. Those basically are the potato planters and seeders. Planters and harvesters. Say, look at our potato technology, the self-propelled potato harvester, four hundred and ninety-six thousand dollars, so a half million dollars. Have a self-propelled potato harvester that has a working width of three meters, so not quite twice as wide as the pull-behind harvesters. Holds ninety-five hundred and ninety liters worth of potatoes. So again, this thing is going to fill up pretty darn quick. Let's see about how we get potatoes into the ground. Grab our... Oh, well, let's grab our... Um, Fiat doesn't let us put a front weight on. We're going to need a front weight when we have these potato planters because they are heavy. They're 515. Up the trailer. Drop our arms. Give ourselves a weight. We need something to counterbalance all of that machinery to be hanging off the back of our tractor. point you see that thing just squat down and pick this up we don't even have potatoes in it yet watch this disconnect it for that we disconnect our front weight see this is why we need a front weight we don't even have seed on it yet That weight might not be even be enough. So I don't have any potatoes from last year's harvest. I'm going to just come up here and grab some feed. And when you load in, remember from our planting video in the 100 series, we had basically a red seed that would fill up. Here, when we fill it up, we fill up with potatoes. This particular worker or this particular piece of machinery do not have to unfold it line it up happy with where we are cycle to the back item lower it down turn it on and you'll see visually now we have these little belts that are basically Picking up the potatoes, these little cups, in there, and they basically take them down and are visually dropping them. You can't really see it, but they're visually dropping them down in these furrows that we're going to be making. I'm going to hire a helper so we can kind of watch this process. And you can really tell a potato field when it's planted because it has a completely different look than any of the other crops really have when they are planted. One, two, three, four. That is the smaller of the two potato planters. I'm just going to let that one run. Now we're going to pick up our larger tractor. And we're going to use the larger potato planter. Uh, just see how that one works.
tractor looks a bit more uh, upscale than the other one did. This is a larger tractor. And since this particular planter is pull behind, it is not a three point connection. It doesn't put near as much weight on the tractor as the other one. That can also be an advantage to this particular model is it doesn't have the drawbar weight, if you will, that the first model had. Put some seed in here. And you'll see it looks visually like potatoes as opposed to seed. This one we're gonna have to hit X, unfold. For a bit of an animation process. down turn it on once again I'm just going to hire a helper just so we can kind of follow behind it and now you can see we have six rows one two three four, five well we got more than that one three four five six seven eight eight ridges I'm gonna go ahead and basically let both of these plant until they run out of potatoes and we'll come back and take a look at the potato crop through its various stages of growth then we'll talk about basically harvesting and what we need to know about storing potatoes so here we have potatoes in our first stage of growth you can see the potatoes are basically coming up here in the in these ridges where they were placed go ahead and just planted the rest of the field just to make sure we would have plenty for our demonstration purposes but the 2,000 liters of potatoes well it came to about here I think with respect to getting this field planted go ahead and take a look and see what our potatoes look like at all of the other stages of growth And as you can see now, they say remove tops down in the lower right. Take a look here at our rowing area. See that they have the remove tops coloration. So root crops like potatoes and sugar beets, they don't say ready to harvest in the escape menu. They say remove tops. Basically that they are now ready. Plant is dead. They're now ready to be harvested. First step of doing that is going to be remove tops. And as we kind of discussed in the rich potato farmer's world, we're going to have access to this really big potato harvester, self-propelled potato harvester. This thing is a beast. Sure. Let me go ahead and move on to morning so that we have some daylight. Apparently, I still had the uh, apparently I still had the clock fast forwarded. Right, so now that it's morning, got her lined up. The way this works is we need to unfold our harvester. X. All kinds of cool little animations that go on. Let me do that. I want to lower it down, turn it on. All kinds of belts moving. Potato topper running. Move that into the harvester. And we're going to hire helpers just so that we can. Kind of watch the process. Let's 
the way this works is we've got our potato topper taking the tops off. Then we have our digger basically digging up the potatoes, putting them on the belt. Dirt is basically being sifted off of those back onto the ground. It is continuing to make their way through various belts up into the storage. I want to take control of this so that we can demonstrate some other stuff for you. We can left mouse button, and the left mouse button will let us raise and lower and tilt the output chute basically fit our trailer okay you see visually there is a difference between a topped potato and a harvested area do some of this manually you can see already we've made just one pass on this field and we are already going to be close to 50 percent of our harvester's storage capacity see, we're going to be emptying this thing quite frequently Some very wide turns Kind of an interesting piece of machinery definitely for a starting farmer if you are have an opportunity to do a a contract mission with this then it'd definitely be worth trying now dude we happen to have we're missing just a little bit here we line this up we didn't quite line it up right we are missing a row of potatoes While that's running, let's go ahead and get maybe set up with our other harvesters and see how they work. First up, we're going to do the small pull behind potato harvester with the topper. Wrong side. Yeah, our self propelled is already full. Hopper. Say I misspoke earlier in the video. Apologize for that. I just don't do potatoes very often. I find them annoying. Um, you cannot pair these two together and run them together because we have to unfold the harvester. The harvester is shifted off to the side. The topper is not. The topper is in front. Did this. We would be topping basically the potatoes before the next pass, what we'd be doing. Topping those potatoes, but only picking up one row. Only picking up one row if we this topper and this harvester at the same time that's not really effective at least not for the first first pass maybe subsequent passes it would be effective what we can do is we can top a field a lot faster than we can harvest the field And if you play with prop destruction on, 
But once a once a potato is topped, then you can drive on top of it and not worry about crop production. Kind of a nice thing. Watch this. Disconnect. And now I'm going to drive over our potato. Okay. The plant goes away, but so does the potato underneath. Destroy enough of these potatoes that you can kind of see when we run a harvester over this area. We're not going to get any potatoes coming out. I can drive over what I've topped. And I'm not losing my potato. I do apologize for misspeaking there. I haven't used I haven't used this combination of equipment for a very, very long time. But the wave goes all the way back to Farm Sim 17 days. Let's get you hopping for a little bit. another pass and then we'll be able to drive on our topped potato not having to worry about basically growing our crop then with this one you have to un unfold it throw it down turn it on just like the other harvester and then dig it up out of the ground. In effect, we're basically digging two rows of potatoes. That's it. Really just grabbing those two rows right there. Harvesting a field this size would take substantially longer with this piece of machinery than the self-propelled machinery. But the self propelled is so much more expensive. When we're done, we're going to hit O to pipe out. And just like the other one, we have the left mouse button and we can adjust our angle and load. Stop that. Stop our topper. We get our ropa. Demonstrate our ropa. Then we'll talk about basically what we do with these potatoes once we get them off the ground, out of the field. I think in a video where we talked about contracts, I really gave some advice. If you ever see a contract come up, harvest potatoes with this yellow ropa, avoid it with all costs because it's gonna take you forever to harvest that. I uh, just hit X to unfold the harvester. And this is another pull behind and harvest from the side harvester. Since this is topping, this will top your potatoes same time it harvests. The ideal way of running this is going to be to basically drive on the side of the field. Because if I drive 
on my crop, I'm going to destroy it. And destroy a couple plants there. I don't want to be driving over top of that unless I've gone and topped my potatoes first. Lower it. On. And just like the other pull behind harvester, basically going to grab two rows at once. That's it. Now watch what happens when I drive over this destroyed crop. You're going to see the potatoes stop being picked up. Potato belt's empty now. Now it's pulling in. So that kind of shows you, once again, that uh, you don't want to drive on unhopped potatoes if you have crop destruction enabled. So all of these have really cool animations and everything going on. So let's turn this one off. And pipe out, raise this little basket, left mouse button, tilt it however we need to. Okay. Harvesting our fields. Potatoes. Now we need to talk about where do we store these potatoes? How do we store these potatoes? We already know kind of how we can use potatoes. Only animal that needs potatoes are pigs. They don't use that many. And ironic. We get a whole heap ton of potatoes in our harvest. Measure everything in liters. And a potato is pretty big. It doesn't take many potatoes to become a leader. a little bit you have pretty cool animations of the potatoes filling the trailer empty the other two We'll talk about storage. Kind of have to uh, warp through the little basket there. That one. Not really concerned with the rest of this crop because we're just going to uh, get rid of it here in a little bit. So we've got our potatoes. We can obviously sell potatoes. Our prices screen potatoes. Price for potatoes is a little deceiving because the price is low because this is again per liter, but the yield on potatoes is so great that uh, it's really not that bad of a crop if you're willing to put into the time and the investment. So obviously we could sell our potatoes. 
at a sell point, just like we would sell any other crop. We cannot store our potatoes in the in-game silo. It won't work. So, in the base game, the only way to store your potatoes is to basically dump them on the ground. Come up here and hit I. Potatoes are not accepted here. Really, the only way in game, like I said, to store potatoes is to dump them on the ground. We would have to come up here and do a control I. Control I basically says unload here and tip them on the ground. Nice big pile. And that's how you store your potatoes in base game. Have a giant mountain of potatoes. And then how do you pick them up? Well, you either pick them up with a bucket, front loader bucket, or you can use belts. I haven't really talked about belts. Use a belt system. I have to use this conveyor belt here. Belt would pick it up off the ground. Then you'd have to put it on this belt here, which then raises up and put it back into a trailer to then eventually use or sell. Take a look at these belts and show you kind of how they work with respect to potatoes. Went ahead and ordered one of each type of belt. You can kind of demonstrate this here. The way this belt works is you walk up to them and you hit E to enter them, just as if they were a tractor. I'm going to fold that up. Basically, you can hook that up to a tractor and basically pull it from the shop to here. Once you get in it, you turn it on as if it had an engine. You just drive it around as you would normally drive a uh, tractor. We're going to get it up close, and then we're going to hit B. Turn the belt on. It's going to start picking up the material. Same with this one. You can hook this up with a tractor and pull it back to the shop, pull it around the yard, hit enter to start the engine. You do not have auto engine start. Drive it around. Left mouse button up and down, raise and lower this belt. Right, right, mount, right mouse button left and right will extend it, and it extends quite a ways. Really get some reach, this particular belt. But you can just, just back this up here. Then it will auto start to pick up. Then if we had a trailer, we put a trailer underneath this, and basically it would start loading our trailer. Okay. That's all we would really need to get a pile of potatoes referred to as heaps in game. That's all we would need to do is to get pick this potato heap up, the this belt here. And this belt here and, and then put it into a trailer now we have another belt which is kind of an interesting deal this is good for a long horizontal run so if you need to basically bridge a gap between this belt and this belt make use of one or more of these belts right belt okay and enter start the engine has a little raw bar attachment move it around with a tractor here it this belt has a couple interesting tricks up its sleeve and it can be a little 
sometimes cumbersome to use, takes some practice. You have the left mouse button up and down, we'll raise and lower basically the, the output into the belt. Left and right will rotate the upper part of the belt left and right. Let's let's not do that quite yet. Right right mouse button left and right will extend or retract belt this belt get quite long in its fully extended format right mouse button up and down will raise and lower input hopper and again left mouse button left and right Swing this around and make turns, if you will. See what we can do now is now we are picking up running horizontally up into this belt. this belt under here and now we've basically made a turn and we're a fair bit away in this way out here like this now we can really get a reach to do whatever we want with our potatoes one more belt this one is kind of kind of cool Remember early on in the video we talked about how potatoes are one of the few crops we can use as seed for subsequent harvests. This belt is not self-propelled. We're going to need to position this belt with a tractor. way this works is we have the input hopper closest to the drawbar might make placing this a little bit sketchy Right belt. Reposition this one. Unloads into there. Now we are unloading into this belt. I don't want to unload all of it. Stop there. I want to use all of my demonstration product. So this has a storage capacity. Take a look in the shop. It has a storage capacity of 13,000 liters. Or it is full. And this belt has the ability to make pallets. When we hit B, see a box will spawn in. And it is basically putting potatoes into the box. Now we'll need a little tractor. on the field.
Now if we have a tractor with loader arms, do here, pick that pallet up, or forks, and store that pallet somewhere. And it's basically a pallet of potato seed now. For next year's harvest. This is also a way you could just store potatoes in general instead of storing them on on the pile on the ground just unload your trailer straight into this belt don't need to go from ground to belt to this thousand liters now if we go over here to our feeder planter just to demonstrate potatoes are kind of a crop that keeps on giving only need to buy seed once there we go now we've got a thousand liters in our potato planter ready to go for next time Another little interesting hack here. So that doesn't work. I thought that they still had a hack. Pretty sure that there was a hack early on in the game. Maybe they fixed it. Or you could put. Definitely worked with sugarcane. Sugarcane is another crop where you can use sugar cane as a seed also put over a trailer but it used to be that you could do sugar cane as a seed and basically it would then allow you, the planter would allow you to unload the seed, unload the sugar cane, but instead of unloading it as sugar cane, it would unload it as seed. Kind of a way of getting around buying seed, but it looks like they've closed that little exploit. That's kind of the principles of belts how you can use belts to basically handle potatoes that's really how you can store potatoes in game what I want to do is I want to introduce you to kind of a I want to introduce you to a mod I think will be really useful if you are a potato harvester, potato farmer. To do that, I need to get some potatoes in a trailer. Go ahead and get these potatoes up off the ground. Back into our trailer. mod I'm talking about is called root crop storage root comp storage is a mod that is available in the Giants mod hub I already talked about Giants mod hub in 100 level video if you haven't seen that go ahead and check that out you can be here look picking up 
potato heap and dumping it into the trailer. So if we look here under placeables, for silos, we have in-ground storage. This is the mod we can buy or cash. What it does is it allows us to put a building down. Rotate it. We've talked about placing buildings a little bit, I think. And this building, and this mod is available in the in-game mod hub. This building lets us put potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, or wood chips. Let's just dump them into this grate. And then it basically stores it as if it is like an in-game silo and we can come out later and fill from a spout really good mod if you're going to be storing a lot of potatoes then this might be a better option for you is on When you have a whole bunch of potato boxes lying around, well, that can ultimately impact performance. If you have a whole boatload of them. See how that works. So in my opinion, this is a must have mod for a potato farmer. Hey guys, that is basically the ins and outs of potato planting, harvesting, and storage. Let me know in the comments, what did you think of this video? Are you apt to uh, give potatoes a try in your game? And until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.